I was watching uh, Terrence Crawford on a million dollars worth of game. Yeah. And then I you saw know, him. Had, Billy Wallow. Yeah, shouts out to them. I saw him with an interaction with uh, Mosey Ennis. Yeah. And, Mosey of course, Ennis. the back and yeah. forth with Jerron Ennis. Yeah. You know, he was saying that, you know, when did you call me out? I never heard, you know, you say my name. And, you know. Even though, like, Boots and them been, like, he, he ain't saying it ignorant about it, but he been calling Terrence Crawford out for years. He, everybody who watched your channel knows he called him out. He called him out on YSM how many times? What so, do you, what do you think his reasoning for doing that was? Um, it, it, his re his reasoning, I guess, just to be like, oh, as long as he ain't coming ignorant and, and you know not putting pressure on himself, himself to fight the young. Man. Um, you know, um, shit, as far as I know, since what was it, 2018? He was serious. 2018. If you go and look after the Raymond Serrano fight when they interviewed him right after he said he wants Terrence Crawford name, he wants Earl Spence, Keith Thurman. He wants the top five, he wants the champs, he's been saying that. So when people be like, oh yeah, he's just capping a line, I'm like, Boots ain't capping about that shit. He's been calling their, their names out. He ain't he didn't he ain't saying it like in an ignorant way. Like, oh yeah, he called him like how Bose was saying, like we ain't gonna call you no pussy, this and that, because as a man, we don't talk like that. And you know, as a fighter, we know each other and respect each other as fighters. But yeah, we've been saying we've been wanting you and, and difference with Ter I look at Terrence Crawford, at least Earl Spence, um, Earl Spence on the interview saying he expecting um, Boots to call me out because if you don't call me out, I'm looking at him crazy because right now we're champions. So of course you're going to call out the champions and Boots been doing that for a long time. So when them blood clowns want to believe in the, yeah, you don't call Terrence Crawford out, like take y'all clown masks off and realize y'all watch YSM and y'all can go to plenty of YSM videos, fight hype. Whatever videos, when they mention his name, he calls him out. And then even Bobby even looking at it because there's an interview. He was looking at YSM when um, Boots said, yeah, when they compare him, like, yeah, yeah, Bud, like, um, I don't believe Bud fight like me, and I believe I'm a lot smarter. What did Bud say? He goes back and be like, yeah, you know, he's a good fighter. He does everything, but I'm a lot smarter. So you can tell he watches this shit. Like, come on, like, cut that shit out. Now, do you believe he was being disingenuous, or do you believe... He just never heard. No, he heard. Like he heard. He heard. But it was just like in a cool way. He heard. He know he heard. Um, like I said, he copied the same shit that um, Boots said. He was like, "Yo, yeah, he he turns and all that." But I'm a lot smarter with it. But said the same shit because you know he watched the interview. He said it's smart. Like yeah, he does everything. But I'm a lot smarter. He said that because he watched the interview. Like uh, they watch the interviews. They watch each other and stuff like that for sure. So. He knows it. He just tried to play it off. That's why he was cool and laughed it off about it. Now, Terrence Crawford fans have been critical of Boots because he chose the IBF route where he was ranked number one instead of WBO route, saying he was ranked number two. They said, mm -hmm. Terrence Crawford fights his mandatory. Yeah, Earl yeah. Spence doesn't. You should have stayed in the WBO in order to get a title shot. Comes out that the guy that stayed in the WBO, Alexis Roca, in the petition to yeah. become Earl Spence's, oh, uh, petition to become Crawford. Terrence Crawford's mandatory, did not get the bout next because Terrence Crawford went into a fight with Earl Spence. Yeah. So that that logic is kind of like out the window because it seemed like whatever route he was going to take, he wasn't going to get a title shot next. Yeah. Here, yeah. Here's how it, how it is, right? When you look at the rankings, and I've been saying it, like the rankings favored Virgil Ortiz. They put Virgil Ortiz ahead of Boots on everything besides the IBF. So Virgil Ortiz actually had a couple chances. He let Sean Porter and I think a second fight where he could have pressured like I need this Terrence Crawford and WBO had to make it. Now it was also rumored that at one point during the negotiation when it fall out that Terrence Crawford was trying to get that um, Virgil Ortiz fight. That's why he was talking with Golden Boy. Mm. But um, Virgil Ortiz, so Boost don't got say so because he technically ain't mandatory. He's second. IBF put him number one. So, of course, you're going to be like, all right, at the time, it's like, I have to take this interim title shot because after this interim title shot, Spence have to fight me. If not, you're going to have to vacate it. And he's automatically, technically, Boos is an IBF champion. So, whenever Spence vacate or whatever, go up to 154, Boots, you know, go up. In the WBO, WBC, he didn't have that privilege because they put Virgil Ortiz, Keith Thurman. And like how Boots and Bozy said before is, during that time with BLK, when you was looking for that warm-up fight, Vir all right, Virgil wasn't taking it. Virgil, Oscar De La Hoya did smart. He he had Virgil one higher than Boots on every ring, even WBA. Mm. That's why Virgil's fighting Stan Yonis. Mm. 
So um, they took that route because they seen that's they think that's the easiest route. So Virgil never mandated, mandated it, and then um, so when it comes to boots, he had no say so. But he looked at him crazy, like you know, I was number two. Instead of fighting David Avenesian, you could have fought me. I had no word to be like, yeah, I'm gonna fight you because I was in, in that position. I was number two. I could call you out, but I can't force a mandatory. So, but Crawford is like, you went around him and then David Avenesian, and then there's rumor that y'all took that fight with David Avenesian because David Avenesian is not signed with a PVC or not with Showtime. So that was an easier fight to make on BLK Prime and he got 10 million. So I see it on that side. So stop the BS and be like, yeah, you could have fought. Oh yeah, why you call me out this and that? Like, you know, you could have chose Boots and went to Showtime and took that route. But he took the BLK, he took 10 million, they gave him David Avenesian, it was like seven or eight in the ring at the time. Now, BLK reached out to uh, Bozy Ennis yeah. about a fight with Jerron Ennis and Terrence Crawford. Yeah. Um, what, uh, what I got from BLK is Terrence Crawford wanted to fight in the interim because he thought Earl Spence was going to face Keith Thurman. Yeah. And Jerron Ennis was going to be his backup plan. But then, you know, when negotiations happened, uh, Terrence Crawford talked to Steven Espinosa and realized that Thurman and Spence wasn't going to happen to went into a fight with uh, Earl Spence in July 29th. Now, here's, here's the situation. I look at it, right? BLK, they more of a, a promoter. They are... It's supposed to be a network. Network, right? All right, so they're a network. Are they technically Terrence Crawford's representatives? No. Then well, how does that make sense that BLK instead of Terrence Crawford and them calling Espinosa? So I don't get like if you look on the side, if you look at Terrence Crawford, you'd be like, oh, you, you how y'all represent me when it comes to dealing with Espinosa when he's over at Showtime? And that's when I, that's why I, I'm confused about if I was getting hit up, I'd be confused because I don't know if you're going to sign off a one-off contract, be like, yo, if I get you a fight with Boots, we handle your stuff because they would have had to co-promote it anyway. Or I ever gonna do a co networks. So I don't know what happened. Do I believe Terrence Crawford spoke to Espinosa? Yes, because you know he probably been speaking to him and out for a while because of Earl Spence. So I don't, I wasn't there, but it don't sound right where a network that you're not technically signed to you did a one off deal going to call another network about a fight. And to me it just everything seems blurry there.